This video will show a quick uh, walkthrough of using Excel to conduct a quantitative content analysis. And specifically, I'll be doing an analysis of newspaper articles that I have downloaded from the LexisNexis database, for which I have created a separate tutorial that you can watch. Uh, the, the downloaded news articles are here, and uh, I'll just jump right into this. Uh, right here, we've got a, a number of the document and I've started an Excel file and I'll be referring to that document here and I've started some columns that will allow me to code each and every newspaper article that's in that document that I've downloaded. So here I, I just enter the number the article number as an identifier so I know which article uh, that particular uh, line in the in the spreadsheet is pointing to. So I don't have to type in say this lengthy title or anything like that. The other columns are pieces of information that I want to pull out of each newspaper article. Uh, this one is whether or not the article is a commentary, which I'm going to code 1 and 0. Uh, this column is whether or not the sentiment of the article is sort of a positive sentiment, which we can code as 1 or 0 also, 1 being yes, 0 being no. Uh, this column is whether or not the article is based on any sort of evidence, so an evidence-based argument. And this one is going to be whether or not, I think I'll change that, this is going to be an article about, say, a solution to the problem. And specifically, I have downloaded articles related to rural education. And so if uh, there's a solution being proposed, then it's a solution to the problems facing rural communities in terms of education. Okay, so what we do then is just go through and see if we can find information that will allow us to fill out these columns. And so right here we'll just look. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the article is titled To Improve Completion, Remember the Countryside. And as we read through the article, we'll see that this is about uh, a report of... No, nope, there's quite a bit of uh, evidence, right? There's 17% of rural adults, 25 and older, have a college degree, half that... Half the percentage of urban adults and only about 31% of 18 to 24 year olds in rural areas were enrolled in higher education. So they're using evidence to demonstrate uh, a gap in terms of educational completion to support their claim. So I'll go back to the spreadsheet and say yes, this is an evidence-based article. And they're, they're also claiming in this article, if you look at the abstract, uh, rural America stands as an untapped source of potential college success stories, right, to officials at the West Virginia Higher Education Policy Commission. So this is all being kind of proposed as a solution to a national problem with regard to college completion. So we're going to say this is a solution-oriented rather than a problem-oriented article. And there we go. Uh, of course, as many columns as you can think of can be created, and these columns will correspond to any type of information you might be looking for. Uh, for instance, you might also add, you know, is the is the article talking about the role of government in terms of education? You know, if we go back to the article, we can read through and see if there's anything there about uh, government. We can also specify state or federal government and that kind of thing. And so what we're going to do is just go through all the articles coding for the same pieces of information. And uh, when we're done, we're going to be able to draw some conclusions. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, for hypothetical purposes, I've gone through and I have entered in values in each of these columns. And so now we're going to be able to draw some conclusions and a, a good way to do that is to simply use the auto sum feature in Excel where you can get the sum for the column right so we can see there's three there and if you just hit control C and then come over here and hit control V it'll uh, apply the same formula and if we wanted to, we could also create a, a percentage formula. So let's see, that would be B13 over 10 times 100. All right, so, uh, and then we'll copy that and paste it here. 
And what we've done is now we've generated the ability to claim that 30% of the articles in our database are commentaries, 70% reflect a positive sentiment, 50% use evidence to support their claims, 40% are oriented towards a solution rather than a problem, and 80% discuss the role of government. Uh, you know, as I said, this is a simple exercise. The goal is simply to show you the process, and of course, you can go much more complex and deep. You can have a database with hundreds or even thousands of sources, and the the, the process will be the same. The work will be a lot heavier, <laughs> but this is a way to quickly generate some useful information about a body of, say, text to documents like newspaper articles and complete a quantitative content analysis.